space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of Bill, Jebediah and Bob Kerman. Their continuing mission to explode strange new worlds, to seek out new life and crash their rockets on top of them, to boldly go and die where no Kerbal has died before. Hello there procrastinauts, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, my name is Paborian and I'll be your guide to the moons and the star. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these episodes so uh, I think it's about time with the recent partnership of our channel to start cranking them out and start getting busy busy, what do you guys think? Yeah, I'd, I'd say you're agreeing, I'd say you're agreeing. So we're going to just jump straight into this because I know you guys are thirsty for the action, fucking, and I know exactly what kind of rocket I'm going to build today. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fucking whiz on with that. Now, what I'm aiming to do with this video is I'm trying to go a little bit different. It's going to be half tutorially, kind of. I'm going to try and my best to explain everything as I can as as I'm doing this to help you guys. If, you, if you're having troubles um, getting into orbit or getting to the moon or Mimus and whatnot, these videos I hope I'm going to he are going to help you maybe a little bit. My, my methods aren't perfect. But they work, and hell, if I find them easy, it should be fucking simple for you guys out there. But um, yeah, so things you will need for this little let's play together type deal is the Nova Punch Remix mod, the Tosh's Carts mod, and an optional mod, I suppose, would be the fixed camera plugin, which is this little thing which I'm going to be showcasing a bit, you're going to, you're going to like this. Um, links to all the mods can be found in the description below so um, check them out, install them. It's probably worth noting as well that the uh, the carts mod is only compatible with 0.14 and higher because it uses plugins for the wheels and the landing gear and, and the jiggery pokery and stuff. So unless you're playing the, the full version and not just the demo version, you might not be able to use some of these mods. I know Nova Punch has a demo version of his mods, but I think it's a bit old and outdated. But the game only costs like ten dollars at the uh, ten British pounds. I think it's fifteen US dollars, which is like ten pounds, eleven pounds British. So if you haven't already bought the game, go out there and do so. So in the meantime, I'm gonna speed this up, I'm gonna loop some music in the background and uh if you wanna take down any notes, just pause the video, have a look at what I'm doing and then uh Build long, build long. So on that note, three, two, one, go. That is one finished craft. Thank God for that. That was a right effort to do. As you can see from the video, that took a lot of messing around. A hell of a lot of messing around. Especially with these fairings and the fairings underneath. 
and everything with the stage in it. For some reason, in this version, decouplers have a weird sense of stacking things in other places. So, I'm not even 100% that this is going to work. It should do. There's the right number of stages. It is 19 stages, this craft is, but alas, never mind. We'll test it out regardless. So, in the spirit of naming our craft, this one has a certain title for it. This is the Kerpolo, um I think it's the Capollo 5 saying that, yeah. The previous four, um, Capollo 1, 2 and 3 were stock craft. Uh, Capollo 4 was the same craft as this, except it didn't have these boosters. And then the test version that I built of this beforehand, because obviously I've had a bit of a play with this so I know it works. Um, Capollo 4.5, or as I like to call it, Capollo Creed. But enough about that. But you're dying to see the launching. Uh, I probably should mention as well, music that was on there, you can find the link for it in the description. So apart being partnered, I've got to recognise these things now. Alright, launch! So yeah, I do have a bit of a truth. You saw me put these cameras on, the um, on both the boosters and on the inside of the first fairing there. Now what these do, is to give us perfect little onboard cameras so I'm gonna go with this one to start off with we're gonna turn that on actually no we need to do this right if we're gonna do this right we're gonna do it right so um let's see where are we in relation to the moon so that's not good enough um right there you are sort yourself out I was wondering what was happening there I thought we were gonna fall over instant mission fail Okay, that's perfect. So now we're in a decent. Whoop! End flight, end flight. Vehicle assembly building. No one saw that. No one saw that. Uh, basically, well, the reason why I end the, uh, the flight, I was going to end the flight anyway, it's because if I was to launch this rocket, it'd just keel over. Something about speed, not time, doesn't quite sit well with it. But never mind. We're in the, uh, the right place now, I should think anyway. So, uh, perfect. Moon's behind us. All right, let's get ourselves prepped. Launch in five, four, Three, two, one, lift up. Alright, perfect. Strange graphic glitch. We're going to get ourselves up to 2,000 meters, and then we're going to start banking towards the 90 degree marker. You know what, saying that, that might be a bit loud. It's been a while since I've messed with these settings. Nope, that's good enough for me. Resume fly. 5, let's go. Let's get ourselves back on this. Right, now those have been ditched, we can start to bank ourselves a little bit because we're getting out of the thin part of the atmosphere, so we're going to be wanting to do this quite a bit. Go, hold yourself there. Let's have a look at the map. Good old trusty map. Now, while I've got a moment to explain what I'm doing, the reason why I sped up time and spanned the world right around is because as we're building up our arc, by the time we get out here somewhere, I want us to be facing the moon. It saves us having to go around and do one full orbit. Just one of the many little tricks I've picked up while I haven't been recording. Ooh, yeah! Ah, as you can see, speed picking up immensely now, so uh, we're nearly out of the atmosphere. Let's bring it down a little bit. Hold it there. Ah, that's cool enough, as long as that doesn't go above 200 or 250 or something like that. Somewhere in between that range. Uh, I'd say we're pretty good, pretty solid here. 
Alright, 200, right, that's as far as you're allowed to go, so um, with that now done, we can jettison the stage, and as you can see, we've still got half a tank left of fuel, but we don't need that, we can get rid. So, do away with that again, and... Oh. What's happened here? Ah, that's why I have my mouse over the staging. I was going to say, my stages aren't going off. This is a failure! So, let's try this again. Alright, nice. So I'm going to turn my sass off. I'm going to do this. I'm just going to give myself a little bit of RCS boost from inside the pod. So, whoop, no, 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 no. Don't do that. I suppose that's a good enough view anyway. And there it goes. Our little underneath pod. On the mission to the moon. Da, 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 da. I really should get some music playing in the background, but I can't do stuff like that anymore. I have to make sure I get permission for music before I use it. That's one of the downsides of being partnered, I guess. Going out and having to seek permission. But with that said and done, let's switch ourselves back to the pod in question. Ah, there it is. Capollo 5. Nice and casual about the fucking place. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn my SAS off, give myself a little bit of frost, maybe. Nope. There we go. That should reset the SAS when bugging out. So uh, get ourselves onto the 90 marker. And we hold our position. So what I'm now attempting to do is, let's see, where are we going to be? Uh, hmm. Right, I'm going to fucking give this a bit of extra frost. I'm going to build this out a little bit because this isn't as high as what I'd like. You see, the, we're going to be seeing the moon roughly about where the AP is. So when that comes around and we see it on the horizon, I'm going to shoot straight for it. So, doop. Right, and now we speed up time. Right, okay, so um, how far did that move us along? Not very far. So let's keep on going. Uh, okay, so now I get myself lined up. So what we do now is we go to the very marker, the the very marker, the, the 90 degree marker, the very on the 90 degree marker, and we're just going to hold our course there. And the second we see the moon show its little face, we're going to thrust up and go for it. Right, here we go. Go, 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 go. Alright, wicked. So now what this will start to do, if we're lucky, yeah, it's not even built the orbit out yet, but as you do, there we are, we have a periapsis. This should push the AP round to about here, which in turn will then stretch out to somewhere about here. Once we get close enough to the moon, you'll see the arc change into from a, well, a bluey green circle to a yellow line. And once that happens, you know you're home free. We should have a plenty enough. Uh, we should we should have plenty enough fuel to do this burn. I say, who knows if I will if this will go according to plan. I've never tried to do it like this before, like going straight on a shot at it. So um, you know, never mind. Eh? If it doesn't work, it's all good. But I would like it to work. First episode in a while and all. I think we're gonna get there and have a little bit of drips of fuel left to spare to slow us down on the, like when we get close to the moon. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna make it. Okay, intercept. Right, wicked. Here we go. So, as you can see, this line's now popped up, and we're going to carry on accelerating it a tiny little bit to try and build this apoapsis closer to the surface. So, accelerate. Right, no, that's starting to move away there. So, the closest we're getting is just short of a million miles. So, let's go. Not a million miles, a million kilometers even. So, we're going to leave the Earth behind. Farewell, Earth. Well, Kerbin, I always get that mixed up. I always call it Earth. It's not Earth. 